Today we're gonna turn this room into a hidden gaming room. We've made hidden entrances in refrigerators, ovens, microwaves. Today, something brand new for y'all. This, you know what this is? <laughs> this is a furnace. Normally your furnace is in the basement, kind of looks like this. Go back on. But sometimes a house can actually have two furnaces, so we're gonna build our second furnace upstairs. And then once the hidden gaming room is done, we're gonna call a furnace repair man to come out and hopefully get it up and running again. Here is the gaming room outline. So right here you have the bathroom as you're walking down the hallway. And this is where we're building the furnace. You enter right here. This is gonna be different than any gaming room we've ever built because no TVs. A gaming room without TVs? Are you kidding me? We're going back in time to the olden days when people only had board games. And in the center, we want the mega gaming table. When you walk in here, it's gonna be like a dungeon. Dungeons and Dragons, get it? Gaming? I have an idea for the table in the gaming room. So what we're going to do is build some sort of contraption right here and a rope. All we gotta do is lower the contraption and the table comes down. Trust me, this is gonna be epic. Put the winch in here, we can lower our hidden gaming table in our hidden gaming room. This look medieval, bro. <laughs> what the heck? Rise, <laughs> Look how shit he's getting. Dude, get this foot out right here. That's okay. I don't know what it works. What are you talking about? I just have a distinguished career working in a school. Now I'm doing this. Good. Attach all these ropes to the, the table. That way we can raise it all the way to the ceiling. It's going to be super awesome. Whoa! What medieval contraption have you built? This is going to be one interesting gaming room. <laughs> Check it out, guys. We got the perfect filter size for this furnace. Well, almost perfect. The furnace with the secret entrance is about finished. So we are going to call an HVAC contractor to see if he can come fix it. This thing has some big issues. Hey, Becky, I um, just wanted to call to schedule somebody to come out this week for my furnace. It isn't working. Sure. Is it okay if the technician is allowed to crawl? Um, the HVAC system is just in a weird spot. I just wouldn't want like a senior citizen coming out and getting stuck. All our techs are, can work in any place where furnaces are. So we'll be good, but I'll make sure I put a slender one on this. Alrighty, thank you all. You've been so helpful. All right. All right, we're scheduled, fellas. You guys have been here this whole time? <laughs> I'm going in. Oh. 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 oh my. We need to get these decorations up. I think the gaming room is officially done. Justin and I really didn't do a whole lot of work, thanks to Reese and Jackson. If there was more people, there'd be more clapping. Hey guys, you don't have to clap. We have it in the edit. Oh, you hear that? There's a lot of people in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I really feel appreciated. <laughs> the hidden gaming room is officially complete, and it's time to give you a tour. Welcome to Galadriel's Inn. Unless you guys have a better name, let us know in the comments. Andrew, what do we got? Well, once you come in, you can come around this way, and we have our first board game shelf. It is filled with board games on board games on board games, and especially the D&D Player's Handbook. And this is where you come and acquire whatever amount of dice you want. Yes! As you can see, this place is lit by candles and lanterns and fireplaces to fit Galadriel's vibes. We really leaned into the medieval style and theme. 
Notice the tiny details, the stained wood, and snacks of medieval warriors, such as Mike and Ike's and nerds. Over here, we have the family crest, marked by the famous warrior swords of Elrog. <laughs> I don't have time to tell you about that story. And the final corner, with even more games. Luxurious dice. Yes, that's a thing. I, I, you can't even barely see it right now, but it's like, almost feels like crystals from space. <laughs> we have mugs for our drinking time. <laughs> Gold for the winner of the board game battle. A homemade game that Reese did all by himself. He drew the pictures, came up with the game, so you have to try that. And then, of course, just the boring games of Uno. We're, we're all about the past here, though. So. The table is the centerpiece. Literally a centerpiece to the center of the room that brings it all together. And this thing lowers down into the player's yard. We have multiple seats because we can't just play with just us three. That would be boring, especially because we're about to go on a campaign and we all have characters. We do? Everybody has a character and a costume, except Justin. We got him a surprise outfit. Oh boy. <laughs> Before we get into our costumes, let's lower the game table. Oh God. <laughs> lower! How do we lower the table? Our weary traveler is coming for assistance. Hello there, Bill. Hello. Oh, you need help lowering the table. Yeah, we've never done it before. Give it a little wee crank. Okay, crank down and then this pull? Yeah, just pull. Oh, like the I'm under the table, don't mess up. I don't want this to fall! This could fall at any second if you mess up. I don't want to mess up! Listen to the sound effects we've installed. Medieval sound. <laughs> Descend! Ah, ah! The game table! Activate the candles. What do medieval people call each other? Because they obviously don't call each other bro. Sir? Sir? Squire? Lord? Andrew? Good to meet you. <laughs> While we wait for the HVAC appliance guy to get here, we're going to get into our costumes and start the campaign because we don't exactly know what time he's going to show up. Hopefully he shows up during our campaign and we'll invite him in. Got a costume for him and everything. It's time to give out everyone's costumes. Starting with Isaac. Here you are. What am I? Let's go put it on, we'll find out. Blake! Thank you, you're welcome. Jackson comes with face paint, so I'm excited oh, to see what this is. I'm nervous. And Samuel? <laughs> is just wearing his normal clothes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Reese, here we are. Ooh, yours comes with a Plinko board. How'd you get a guitar, what? We have my box here, so I'll get this outfit on. Where's mine? All right, it's time for Justin's outfit. What was your name that you came up with? Bizarro. All right, here you go, Bizarro, you're a Star Trek commander. What? Guys, he's a red shirt, and if you know anything about Star Trek, you know what happens to the red shirt. <laughs> Hello? How are you doing today? Doing wonderful, thanks. How about yourself? I wanted to see if you're available. I am about 35, 40 minutes out, depending on traffic. Perfect. Head right this way. Safe travels, my friend. I am Viscount Shushmushper, and I am the Game Master. I'm Squinty Squire, and I'm a Jester. I am Andro, and I'm a Mighty Dwarf. I am Bizarro the Fighter. I'm a bad. I play the music and such, give everybody inspiration. I'm Farmville Baggins, and I'm a Hobbit. I'm Dabu D, the Barbarian. Quick, into the furnace! What? <laughs> Reminds me of my home. As you can see, we are all geared up, ready for Dungeons and Dragons. We got our dice, snacks, the game board, and the game master. Take it away, Samuel. What are we doing? All right, everyone's rolling for initiative. Take your d20. Roll. 18. Oh. Eight. Seven times. Six. Five. All right. Well, I rolled better than all of you, so. One. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the dice. You rolled a one? <laughs> so all of you need to get into battle positions because you're fighting this guy. He's a robot. To war! So he gets to go first. He's going to use laser blast. So all of you need to make a dexterity check to see if you get incinerated instantly. What? You're incinerated instantly. I'm the farthest away! How yeah, are you? you got laser blasted, you're what? dead. Three. Two, you get laser blasted. Oh! No! You get laser blasted and That's you're well. dead. You get laser blasted, you get laser blasted, still dead. What? 20. Oh, you critically succeed, well done. No, you only lose no, half of your health. With oh. a 20 roll? Jeez, what could I have done better? All right, quite so... way to stop the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Most of you are dead. You get to make an attack, and you get to make an attack. 
C string slap. Which we do here. Oh, Bruce. All right, it's a six and a three. Now, oh, that's nine damage. Too bad he's got a damage reduction of 96. Ah, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Can't trip. What? What are you saying? It's a cane trip. He's never played I'm before, looking. lads. Can I do a flying knee? You can try. Oh. 18. Ah, you do. You hit him, you fly like this, and you're like, hey, <laughs> roll for damage. 18 again. 18, that's the wrong no, dice. Come on, guys. Uh, what does that say? Three. Three. Oh. Well, he's still got a damage reduction of 96, so you missed. Well, it's his turn, so <laughs> he's gonna do a windmill attack. His arms shoot out lasers oh. and blades of all kinds. One. Oh. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Die! Oh. Die! Oh. Die. Oh. Die! What does it mean? What does that mean? Oh. The fellowship is broken. The fellowship has failed. The HVAC guy is gonna be here any minute. And we got a whole plan set up to confuse him even more. I think the repairman is here. Guys, the repairman, he's here. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Let the games begin. Hi, welcome. Hi, thank you. Come on in. I got the right place, right? Yes, the furnace? Yes. Yes, big, big yikes. Not heating the house, really. Ah, uh, it's just, uh, it's a big hassle. This is, this okay. is where we got right here. All right, well, we'll take a look. I can tell you right now, that's definitely gonna need to get a point. What part? The entire thing, and why is it drywall? What do you mean? Why is the plenum drywall? I see scorch marks here. Yeah, but that's normal or that's not normal? That's not normal. Oh. That is, like, none of this is normal. Like, okay, well, we'll take a look and see what we can see. What we can see. Okay, that down? Yeah, let me go see if I can hunt those down, so. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, not for me. What in the heck is going on here? Whoa. Oh, no. Yeah, there's no heat exchanger in this thing. Let's get confusing. What is that? I have no idea. See, that's kind of what the sounds would make when I flip on the switch, usually. Okay, I think I found these. Okay. This is probably one of the strangest calls that I've ever seen, to be perfectly honest. The power's cut to the control board. There's a green light inside. The heat exchanger's gone. Green light, wait a yeah, oh, if you look at there. That lemon, yeah, there's a green light in there. Should be. Oh, there it goes. What? I, I have never seen anything this strange in my entire career. Yeah, I just thought this was a normal furnace. I thought so too. Coming up to it. What the heck? Someone on the other side. Someone? Yeah, we don't know. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hey, come on in. We're just playing Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Um, Hello? Come on in. Okay, there's got to be another furnace somewhere. It looks like they stripped out the entire furnace. We should probably go in there and check it out. Yeah, feel free to come on in. Okay. Um, yeah, we got yeah. plenty of seats in here for you, brother. Come on in. Oh, how you doing? Hey, hi. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, there's no way this is happening at all. It's literally impossible. Oh. Yeah, we were just about to start, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate it, but I'm on the clock, y'all, so I I can't really hang out. I gotta. Well, you know, we got you a hat. You gotta put on. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wear it. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this. We actually built this furnace. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we turned it into a hidden gaming room. Ah, okay, makes sense. <laughs> the first repair guy we've gotten to come inside of our hidden gaming room. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah! I don't think I'm gonna crawl through here. No, I think I'm good, yeah. There's people in there! <laughs> yeah, try and get in there. I can't get in there. <laughs> <laughs> I assume this is going on YouTube. Yeah! <laughs> We actually got the furnace from your company. No kidding? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're obviously going to pay you for your time, but uh, okay. this was it. We've done hidden rooms throughout our house and okay. called out different appliances, people to come fix it. And like you said, you're the first person to ever come into the hidden gaming room. Yeah. So we're not having any problems with the heat, correct? No. 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 <laughs> Furnace in the basement, totally fine. Works great. Oh, no Works great. Okay. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
But if you want to look at the furnace in the basement, maybe it's not. I guess I'll just take a look while I'm here, right? All right, well, it's good to meet you, gents. I'll go take a look at the actual furnace. All right, I guess I'll start crawling then. All right, that is dedicated to his job. That is for sure. Legend.